original founders were Penny Williams, Bernice Shedrick, and then Dr. Earl Mitchell um, from Oklahoma State University. And I think the three of them um, persuaded Governor Nye, and they recruited Robert Henry. And so those were the first critical. Uh, and I think their vision was a school in Oklahoma demonstrating academic excellence at the highest level. I didn't know there was such a thing as a math science school, but um, Earl Mitchell from Stillwater wrote me a letter. I was on the education committee in the House. The real mover and shaker was Representative Penny Williams from Tulsa, who later moved on to the Senate. And she pushed this idea and would not let go and got a group of people. I was her principal co-author in the House, uh, and Senator Shedrick was the principal co-author in the Senate. Well, the legislature created the math and science in 1983, and I gotta say it was a tough time to do it because it was gonna take special money to set aside a different school. In my first term as governor, we created the Rainy Day Fund and we set money aside. So for two years in the mid 80s, we had Rainy Day Fund to take care of our budget. So we went ahead with the plan of trying to do something to create awesome. The first time I met Dr. Manning, I knew this was the person that we needed to be at the leadership helm for Awesome. She had a keen understanding of the legislature and the process they're in, and not even a member of it. She knew full well what we had to do in terms of uh, being able to provide funding. When Dr. Manning came on board, she literally had no campus, no students. Uh, the previous budget had been $25,000 a year. So she literally started from scratch. And also Dr. Manning was just really able to recruit uh, top-notch faculty. The real key to the success for the students has been the opportunity to study with the level faculty that we have here. We have people who have themselves worked hard and prepared at a very high level academically. The first faculty that I hired had all been involved in teaching and research before they came here. And I think that pattern has pretty well continued through the years. I think the importance of creating Awesome is underscored by the fact that geographically across the state, we had students that perhaps couldn't get the challenge uh, of, of a particular area of advanced technology, science, math. The students who came here were young people who knew that they wanted a little more than their schools could offer, even the very fine schools could offer. And we've had tremendous success stories among those students, and not all of those students were necessarily from backgrounds where you might expect that achievement. Dr. Edna Manning came in, and within three years, we were competing at the highest level. It it really was success, success from the inception. The, the whole idea of this school is it's free. Uh, anybody can go there. Uh, uh, it's residents. Well, not it's, anybody. Well, it's, <laughs> anybody can go there in terms of qualification. You have to give credit to the students and their parents for their courage and their vision. Once they get here, uh, it is hard work. It is competitive. I have an opportunity sometimes to talk to the students here and I always come away with that feeling of being energized by what I see with the capabilities, by the rigor and relevance of the work that they're doing. Because at, at, at that age, at 16, you don't really know how to push yourself and how far you can go and the faculty and all the staff here really, really, they impart a lot of knowledge, but they also teach students how to thrive and succeed. And, and that was you know, one of the keys to my success, for sure. I think this school provides a life-changing opportunity for young people. I also think that the school was started as part of a much larger plan for the state of Oklahoma for general improvement in quality of life, quality of education. 
we were part of economic development. And that part's turned out to be true, by the way, because for every dollar the state invests in a student, our alumni who are living and working in the state return $8 into the economy. Well, economically, and from the standpoint of just competing, it is math and science. The students that come out of the Oklahoma School of Science and Math and those who graduate from here go on to be our nation's uh, scientists, um, uh, engineers, physicians, politicians, innovators, entrepreneurs. Awesome is a fabulous resource for the state of Oklahoma. I can't think of anywhere else where we have the concentration on taking our best and our brightest students and advancing their knowledge and their skills in science and mathematics. And again, if we're going to be successful as a state in the long run, we have to encourage our students and we have to equip them to succeed and become the innovators and drivers we need of our economy in the future. I want to compliment the pioneering and visionary work that has gone before Dr. Manning, the first president and visionary leader of the School of Science and Math, Dan Little, who served as uh, the chair of the, of the uh, Oklahoma School of Science and Math Foundation, and Dr. Wong has picked up that baton and carried it. We're still in good hands. And that's important that the management, because the better we manage it, the more current and future legislatures can support this project to help kids statewide. In addition to the residential campus, we also have um, locations, uh, satellite locations, located um, throughout the state in the less populated areas of the state. Because once you've proven that it can be done in one place, then it's just so much easier for others to say, you know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma students can win at the highest level. But we can't possibly have a regional center um, everywhere in the state, so we're leveraging technology, we're using technology to deliver instruction through um, online instruction. It has certainly been the resource for the state that we wanted it to be just not a school within itself, but one that benefited the state in um, a number of ways. I'm particularly excited to mention some of the partnerships we're, uh, we're going to uh, undertake. In fact, later this month, I think in another um, week or two weeks, I'll be meeting with officials from Boeing, as well as the president of the Oklahoma State University, Burns Hargis, and the Secretary of Education, Natalie Shirley, who also is the president of, o -triple, of, of OSU uh, OKC. And we're going to meet together to see how we can uh, partner together. At I2E, we focus on growing new companies in Oklahoma and, and encouraging success for entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur has to provide this spark called innovation. And when we look at kind of where we, where we invest and where we see opportunities in Oklahoma, I mean, you can go down a list, and every one of the technologies that we invest in are dependent on, to some degree, science and math. Our model at OCAS depends uh, our pipeline of activities depends uh, upon having the talent at the front end so that we can engage in innovation in entrepreneurship. And we're very interested in helping to develop that talent at the front end of the pipeline, the talent that exists here at the Oklahoma School of Science and Math. A lot of these CEOs and CFOs and COOs not surprisingly, they have very bright intellectual children and they want really good schools for them. And that's why Awesome is on so many Chamber of Commerce tours in Oklahoma City. Well, I think anybody that's been associated with OSSN can take a great deal of pride in the achievement and the success that it's had. Uh, the job now is to keep it going and to in Oklahoma these days, the oil industry is suffering as it is worldwide. And we understand uh, the, the state is facing serious economic challenges. We're looking at ways that we can uh, uh, develop new revenue streams so that uh, the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics can better serve the people of Oklahoma. So uh, one of the things that we've done is now we've opened up the school to uh, students that are from out of state. Uh, we charge them a premium 
to study to receive this world-class education so that we can keep the education for Oklahoma students entirely free. I don't know what the future is for the state, but I do know that we are working the alumni very seriously to contribute and give back. We're also working the generous people of the state of Oklahoma and many across the nation to help us. We, we must preserve it and protect it and enhance it. We must make sure that the appropriations continue and that private fundraising continues. How do we continue to make sure that we're offering right now and in the years ahead the same opportunity to attend Awesome as we've offered for 25 years to, to people who are now community leaders? The foundation raises those private funds uh, and the endowment funds to uh, help supplement faculty salaries, to help um, finish building buildings. <laughs> so we, we really have to try to find a way to get the funding back to the level that the school can operate at the level that it needs to, to offer the opportunity of a free, high quality public education to the young people of Oklahoma. If you care about Oklahoma, if you care about our future, then you need to invest in Awesome, because Awesome is gonna create the innovators that are gonna drive our economy in the future.